Do you feel like stretching is making you feel tighter? Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and if you always feel like you're getting tight after your training sessions, then here is an awesome tip for you. In our principles of shoulder function video, we explain that the best way to keep your shoulders happy isn't actually by stretching them all the time, but it's to make sure to move them in all of the directions that they can move. Many people that are really on point with their programming make sure to have a lot of the directions in place, but the big one that they always seem to miss out on is rotation. One of the reasons that people get so tight after training is actually the overuse of certain patterns, especially when it comes to the ball and socket joints like the shoulders and hips. So rather than stretching at the end of a session, make sure to add a big joint rotational movement and you'll add that variety in very quickly. This allows underused muscles to quickly fire up and will help to stop the overused muscles from pulling in that certain one direction. One simple drill you can use to reduce upper body tightness only requires a couple of light weights. So what we have is a couple of light kettlebells. So these are 10 kg, so it's not so much about the weight, it's more about the volume. So what we're gonna to start to do is go through all the different directions the shoulder's gonna do. They can go through protraction, they can go through retraction, they can elevate, and they can depress down. So you just go through those a couple of times, just move the shoulders through all of those different positions. Especially if you've been doing like a lot of overhead pressing, for example, for your session, you've been going up, 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 up the whole time. So this just helps to move everything around and stop you from being so uptight in the traps especially, okay? So when you've done that for a few sets, then you can start to just add in rotation. So Jenny's just gonna do big circles around and forwards, first of all. Lovely. And then big circles backwards, okay? This is something that I don't really add a rep scheme to this, you know, if I'm tired from a training, training session especially, I'll not really do that much of it, but maybe just set a timer for around three to five minutes and just hold the kettlebells for that whole time and you're just going to work through all of those ranges. And like I said, you really start to feel, it's quite a unique um, sensation whenever you start doing this for enough reps. So you just move yourself back and forward between the two variations. So going between protraction, retraction, elevation and depression, and then your big, big, big circles, okay? So like I said, three to five minutes at the end of your session and skip on the stretch and see how you feel afterwards, see how you feel the next day. Very, very important to give it a good run, do it for a good few weeks, and you'll really notice your body really craving this sort of stuff, okay? So you're even working on your grip strength here as well. So it's great to add a bit of strength under your strength to make you stronger. I've never heard anyone actually say that they uh, wish they weren't that strong. So really, really good drill and really beneficial. Try this drill out at the end of your sessions for a few weeks and you will wonder what you ever did without it. The same principles can be applied to your hips to help tackle lower body tightness, but if you want more complete training programs, then head over to my website, tommorrison.uk, and check out the Simplistic Mobility Method and NRAGE training. Thank you for watching.